the winners of the International 2018. Give it up for OG! This is what's gonna happen the whole interview, guys. They're just gonna keep cheering. Yeah, they're gonna keep shouting. You won't have to answer any questions because they'll just cheer the whole thing. <laughs> Gentlemen, congratulations. Thank you from Piri and I for giving us some fucking amazing games of Dota. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Has it sunk in yet at all? It's uh, not really, not really there yet. But uh, this this guy was uh, kind of there, I think, right after we won the game. He kept yeah. telling us that this is real. Yeah. <laughs> we heard that. We heard that. This is real. Yeah. It's true. Um, I know coming out of a game like that, I mean, you, there's a lot of ups and downs. You guys took game number one. Uh, I mean, just taking everything back and just thinking about that. Is that just a huge, huge motivational boost and adrenaline to take that game one in a best of five series? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, the first game was incredible for us. Uh, I think it set us up for the rest of the series also. Like, um, best of five is a huge mind game. And what kind of happened uh, with the win in the first game, I think it dictated a lot of the, the, the drafting phase for the rest of the series, uh, adrenaline-wise. I mean, yeah, winning game one was, was something, but it's still like a long road ahead, so. It wasn't, I wouldn't say that uh, people were thinking that we were getting any closer. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely this, the emotions went up and down this series. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> we saw in game four. <laughs> in game four, did you guys think it was over when you were that far behind and then came back? Were you thinking, oh, God, lads, we've let it slip away? Or did you think, nah, we got this? At no point in any of the games, I think we thought it was over until it was over. Um, and, I mean, the resilience that we've shown is probably one of the reasons also why we were able to, to beat them, because obviously they showed up very strong in this grand finals. So, no, I wouldn't say that at any point we started thinking that it was, it was over. Uh, we just like, gave it our all at, at every stage of the game and uh, of all the five games. Yeah. Were we behind in the game four? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and we can still come back in game two and game three. Game two and game three are not over. We can do it. We can come back. <laughs> uh, Thompson, we were talking about it earlier. And we were trying to figure out if there was, you know, any esports player in, in all of esports that had walked into a tournament with prestige like the International and won. And we could not, we, we, we couldn't, couldn't come think up. Of any. We, we couldn't, couldn't think of any. So, so how yeah. does it feel to possibly be the first one or amongst a very, very elite group of people that have done that? I I don't know what to say, but <laughs> it's good, man. <laughs> That's... All right, fair enough. Let me, let me try to get a little bit more specific because I think what we were kind of debating was, was interesting. 
is there, there's obviously pressure because you're at the international, you know, you're, there's, there's pressure to perform. But a lot of times if you're a player, you're also sort of like accumulating the understanding of the pressure and all of these games professionally over and over and over. Do you feel like you came in with maybe a little bit less pressure in that regard or was it all still there because of what was on the line? I didn't really feel any pressure during the games, but before the games it was always uh, you're a bit nervous, but in the games, I didn't feel any pressure. I was just play the game. That's what we saw, man. <laughs> Obviously, it, it was quite a tough year for you guys up to this point, and you've recovered unbelievably well. How did you, how did you turn around having to qualify through the open qualifiers? You didn't get to go to the Super Major. How do you turn that around into a TI winning performance? <laughs> That's right. This is, this is why and how. I think uh, me, Johan, and uh, Sebastian felt like we kind of had to YOLO it this year, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that's some YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, taking the o Australian. Taking the Australian and, uh, and a Finnish person, I, I don't know. We, we came, up, came up with a very crazy solution to all this and uh, it worked out. Anna, um, kind of played out of your mind tonight a little bit. Yeah, you fucking did, man. <laughs> Uh, we heard it, it it's real. Um, what, but what does that mean? It's obviously the money, it's the title, it is the fact that this is the highest level that you can reach in, in Dota. It's performing in front of, you know, hundreds of thousands of people, both there and online. Uh, is that the realness of it, or is it the accomplishment of what you've just done? Uh, um... <laughs> I think it's the, uh, I think it's the accomplishment. Like, I don't know. It, it like two months ago, we never would have expected this, but yeah, it happened. So, <laughs> I mean, I kind of told my teammates that, you know, it, uh, it actually happened. So, yeah. I mean, it did. Like, hey, sorry, it it did. did. It did actually happen. Confirmed. <laughs> So we've seen a lot of winner ceremonies in the past that haven't exactly worked out. So we dug into the Dota archives and we found a video that might give you guys a bit of help in how to celebrate a stunning victory. Let's watch it. Oh no. So you've just won the international. Happy Kyle? Good. Winning a Dota tournament is fun and exciting, especially if you'd never won one before. Let's go through the celebration process step by step. First things first, exit the booth in an orderly fashion. Watch your step, Kyle. The high ground can be tricky. Next up, the trophy presentation. Hold the trophy aloft like a baby Lion King. Make sure not to drop it. It's not a Yule's, Kyle. Your teammates may attempt to touch the trophy. Whatever you do, do not let them. This is the moment for a captain to shine. Now it's time for the post-game interview. Remember, the interviewer is the enemy and probably a terrible Dota player. Show no emotion. Now thank your coach, your team, and above all, the fans. Even though all they did was flame you, it's important to make them feel loved. After all, how else can we get that shout-out thread on Reddit? Now the hardest part of all, opening the bottle of champagne. Take the bottle firmly in both hands. Give it a good shake to loosen the cork. 
Point the bottle away from your face. Away from any faces, even that one. Now hand the bottle to your manager. It's their job now, Mr. Millionaire. Your officially sanctioned celebration is now complete. You can relax and enjoy yourself. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> and to make it official here, you got the chance to grab the Aegis and hold it above your heads, but now to truly become TI champions, you've got to open the bottle of champagne. Ladies and gentlemen, All right. please All right. give the <laughs> biggest <laughs> round of applause to your TI. Cockpit, and I just want to say thank you 